Jojo Nome and the Maths Challenge by Joe Hall. Jojo Nome, Hattie Hedgehog and Ella the Elf were walking together to school. Oh, I'm not looking forward to today, said Jojo Nome to his friends. Why is that? asked Hattie. Well, Miss said it was maths today and I'm not great with numbers and stuff, said Jojo Nome. Don't worry, Jojo, said Ella. We can work together as a team. I really like numbers. Jojo was surprised to hear Ella liked maths. She'd just come to their school and they were finding out new things about her all the time. But the best thing is we'll be outside all morning, said Hattie Hedgehog. And I know we all like that. The school bell rang and they hurried into the playground. Their school playground had lots of grass and trees which meant it was a great place to play games. There were only three of them in class today. The rest of the pupils, who were a bit older, had gone on a day trip. Right, are we all ready to start? said Miss, their teacher. The friends nodded. Today, while the rest of the class are away, we are going to work with these, she said, pointing to a pile of objects, including old wood, a metal bin lid, a cardboard box, string and even an old carpet. We're using a pile of junk, said Ella. Well, I think of it as treasure, said Miss Smiling. It looks like stuff folk have thrown away, said Ella. The friends giggled. With a bit of imagination, that junk can be turned into anything, said Miss. Right, your first task is to sort out all the bits and see how many pieces of treasure we have, said the teacher. So the three friends laid out all the objects on the grass. How many bits are there, asked the teacher. Hattie Hedgehog counted them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. There are 19 bits, miss, said Hattie. OK, today each of you will be given a challenge. Let's start with you, Jojo, said the teacher. Using all of the 19 things, I want you to make... Something. What? asked Jojo. Well, that's up to you, said Miss. Oh, what if I get it wrong? asked Jojo. There's no right answer to this, Jojo. What you make is your choice, said his teacher. Jojo walked round and looked at all the objects. They were all different sizes. The bin and the round cable roll were large but some of the objects, like the string and sticks, were small. He thought for a moment. Eh, can I ask my friends for some help? asked Jojo. Oh, of course, it's always good to share ideas, said his teacher. The friends huddled together and whispered to each other. Jojo finally turned round and spoke to the teacher. Well, my idea is to make an obstacle course said Jojo Nome. Right, on you go then, said Miss. So the three friends moved the objects around. Jojo used the plank so they could balance along it. Hattie moved the carpet so you had to crawl under it and Ella even used a slice of wood as a stepping stone. Then they all tried out the obstacle course, even their teacher. It was great fun. And they had used every single thing to make it. The friends played in the obstacle course right through their break time. After the break, the teacher turned to Hattie Hedgehog. Right, Hattie, I want you to take all the objects and put them into piles. Each pile should be a different shape. Get the others to help you, she said. The friends looked at everything and talked for a bit, then sorted out the objects. It was quite a challenge. There were five piles when they'd finished. We have a square pile, a pile for circles, a pile of rectangles 
a triangle pile and another pile with all the things that don't fit anywhere else, said Hattie. The teacher smiled. Well done. Now choose one shape and make something out of that pile of treasure. Hattie chose the pile of circles. There were eight objects that were circles and she made a car from them. Jumping board and we'll go for a drive, said Hattie. And she and her pals set off on their imaginary journey. They went through the town and past the forest on their adventure. When they were hungry, they parked the car and stopped for something to eat. After lunch, the teacher looked to Ella, who was very excited waiting for her turn. Right, Ella, I want you to make something out of some of the objects that will make a noise or be musical, said Miss. Hattie Hedgehog looked worried. What's wrong, Hattie? asked the teacher. Well, I don't think that's very fair for Ella, Miss. She's deaf and it might be really difficult for her. Don't worry about me, Hattie, said Ella. This is the best challenge for me. The cochlear implants I wear mean that I can still hear most sounds and I love music. Really? asked Hattie. Yes, said Ella, but thanks for looking out for me. <laughs> she plays the drums too, said Jojo Gnome grinning. Ella looked round at the piles of things and smiled. I see something that will make a great drum, she said. So Ella made her drum from an old dustbin and a cymbal from the dustbin lid. She made other instruments too. With the help of the teacher and Jojo Gnome, Ella put different sized bits of wood together so that when you hung them up and hit them, they made different sounds. Ella also wound string tightly round a cardboard box so it could be played like a guitar. It made a very strange sound. Then Ella had everyone play all together to make a tune. It was noisy and fun. objects did you use to make the instruments, Ella? asked the teacher. Ella counted them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We used ten things, Ella said. A band made of junk, said the teacher. No, miss, a band made of treasure, said Jojo Gnome. And do you know something? I think I really like maths now. They all laughed and played Ella's tune one more time. (laughs) 